crusty, dusty head unit. We finally got it. I literally have a tablet. <laughs> What is going on, all of you beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going over to Dom's house. I got myself a massive fucking Apple CarPlay tablet. And to be, in my defense, I didn't get it thinking it was gonna be that huge. I didn't read the description that much. I was just like, oh cool, an eye doing head unit, awesome. Then I watched a couple videos on it and was like, damn, that thing is huge. So you guys are gonna enjoy this video, hopefully, and uh, watch me absolutely fucking not know what I'm doing because I've never done a head unit or anything with wiring before. Oh, also, also, he got a new car and you'll never guess what it is. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I told him that you got a new car, but I didn't show them what it was yet. Dun, 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 dun. Obviously it's another Subaru, but like, it's a bug eye. It's a bug eye and I'm excited because like, I'm not the only one with a bug eye anymore. But yeah, so we're gonna go run to a auto parts store. We'll grab some sandpaper real quick so we can get this thing done. And then we'll do like a little unboxing, go inside and show you all the components and pieces and whatnot. Good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or... There should be time. All right, word. All right, to the cashier and mm. back to the Batmobile. <laughs> So, finally back, chilling at Dom's house. Tokyo dripped on the, on the TV, we chilling. I'm gonna go through some of this with you guys so you can see what comes in the box and you know what to expect. So it comes with a bunch of like auxiliary cords. I don't know, I think these are the actual plug and play oh, connectors that I need. Plastic tools. Oh, nice. Yeah, they did, look, they gave, us, they gave us trim tools as well so we can go ahead and pop off the plastic trim that's in there. Very easy, it's only held in with clips. I'll show you guys the entire process. Oh. My boy. Jeez, that is huge. Oh yeah. That is massive. These clips that are right here are the only thing that are gonna be holding it in versus in the stock radio, there's like six bolts. Oh, the flash is on. That's fine, because it's dark as fuck outside. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get this out of my way because you know, I'm a cool guy that can do that. You just wanted to flex that. 100%. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this trim piece off. So pretty much. Oh my god. From the top, like from the top here, we're just literally gonna pry this right out. I got the trim tool to work because I'm a man. Eh. There you go. Super easy. And then literally there is one, two, three, four, five, six screws on both sides. Pull that out and just unplug it. Now we literally, ah! those connections right there, you're gonna wanna undo that white plug, undo the black ox thing, there's whatever gonna that be is. A few, there's gonna be a few things back. And then this ground wire on the side, don't forget that because you will break that and be very sad. And bam, just like that, this is the old crusty dusty head unit. It actually doesn't look that bad, it's actually in pretty good condition. We are now going to sand the sides of my trim piece down, just, just right here, to get the head unit to kind of fit in there nice and flush. It needs just barely a little bit of material taken off and then it will slide right in, clip on, and then we can start uh, wiring everything up. Real quick interjection before we continue with the video. Forgot to record this while I was with Dom. You've got the USBs, there's three of them. One of them, which is Apple CarPlay, this purple one, I believe. And I went through and pulled out a little bit of my trim. Nothing too crazy, actually. Um, just the glove box. I pulled it down a little bit to get the two USBs down there. And then I've also got the Apple CarPlay one on the driver's side for me over here. And then there's also the auxiliary cords for, you know, the subwoofer or if I ever decide I want to put a PlayStation or any crazy thing like that in there. So all of that stuff I have plugged in and then also the plug for the mic. And then I ended up running the mic not up here where everyone kind of tells you to, but I have it right there. So right under my speedometer and everything. I figured that would be a nice spot and clarity is pretty good. I tested it already. I had Jake call me. With all of that wired up, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in and enjoy the rest of the video. We finally got it sit nice and flush in here. We don't have a Dremel, so we used sandpaper and uh... <laughs> this boy wanted to use a kitchen knife. I, am, I told him I am, to wait until I am, tomorrow. Look, I'm impatient, okay? <laughs> and the sandpaper was working, except it wasn't. So what I did was I grabbed a knife and I really just started kind of just cutting into it and it took like an entire Fast and Furious movie's length of time, <laughs> but it's fine. All I did was kind of just cut out a little bit for the clips to sit in, right? And also enough for this actual 
piece to come back through and the clips all sit nice and flush that's not going anywhere and that was all i had to do so now we can go get it into the car oh my god this kid can't talk all right so what we did was it just the bag came with a bunch of universal harnesses so we just we just found the one that matched up with his and plugged it in it's pretty much just all plug and play you don't need this ground anymore because this harness acts as well it's got a ground source in it so you don't really need that afterwards yeah, and then literally is... just after that held in by clips and then that's it there's there's a lot of other things like the microphone and like um shit for for like wi-fi and, and a couple other things to be honest those are all things that i don't really need what is giving me a hard time here? boom 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 all right moment of truth can i use this cup holder Wait, wait. Nah. I cannot. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. It's not as big as I thought it was. I thought it was gonna come out farther, but it's it fits perfect, and you can't see any of the uh, the marring and shit that I did. All of this down here is still visible. I can still get to my AC and defrost, even though I don't have the AC. I don't really use the defrost unless it's winter, obviously. Dude, look at this thing. It's huge. I literally have a tablet <laughs> in my 20-year-old car. We can put like, you know, YouTube and all that stuff on here. Boom. You just have to connect to the internet or my hotspot in this case, right? We're gonna go to sleep though because it's like 11 or 12 o'clock at night. So if I will pick this video up tomorrow for you guys. What's good, bro? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Dude, it's huge. Mm. It looks so good. The Apple CarPlay works. Um, say how many apps you still have open on this motherfucker? No, I, I wonder I, if it'll save it. I don't have any apps open. Right? No, no. It's it's very easy to use. Um, you just connect your connect your phone or your Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi or whatever it is that you have. You can go on to YouTube. You can do all the cool things. And going to Apple CarPlay, you just hit the car link right there and connect your device. You might take a hug. No, not even. Look at that. It's right on there. Perfect. Got all my music. Everything works. And the sound quality is actually a lot more clear than it was. I'm excited! My 20 year old car does not feel 20 years old anymore with my non airbag having ass and my tablet having ass. So cool. Yeah, I'm cool! It was nice to be able to kind of just chill and go off script with my boy. And uh, I'm excited that he's got himself a WRX and you're gonna see his build go in and we're gonna do that together by like three months from now. He'll be just as loud as me. But peace out, you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video, which will be uh, something. But hope you guys enjoy this one. Later.